Good evening. A Rio Rancho High School student is recovering this evening after reportedly getting high on spice and collapsing at school. Rio Rancho police say another student is facing charges for selling that drug on campus. News 13's Kayla Ayers is live in the Newsplex with that story. Dean, police say a 16-year-old boy was found unresponsive in the school courtyard around lunchtime yesterday. Students around the boy pointed police toward the drug spice and toward another student. It is going on in our schools. Um, it's here. Synthetic marijuana or spice. According to police, paramedics were called to the Rio Rancho High School courtyard yesterday for a 16-year-old male reportedly overdosing on the dangerous drug. The teen was taken away by paramedics. We had some students come forward and uh, report that there was another student that had been selling the spice during lunch. That's pretty brave and blatant. Police say that student, 16-year-old Elegis Montano, seemed high when he was found by officers in a school bathroom. He did have the drug paraphernalia and um, the packets of spice on his person at the time. Montano was charged with possessing and distributing a controlled substance. Now police are trying to track down where he got the spice from. Rio Rancho Public Schools spokesperson says she can't comment on this specific incident, citing privacy laws. Situations that involve uh, drugs are not okay, and students that engage in um, possession or uh, distribution of drugs are subject to serious disciplinary consequences under the Student Code of Conduct. Vesley says yesterday's call out is the only reported incident in the district this year involving Spice. Still, police say Spice is in Rio Rancho and that parents need to be on alert. It sounds like he's going to be okay, but it doesn't mean that it's not going to affect the next person completely differently. Vesley says those students could face suspension or a disciplinary hearing. She also says that administrators in the Rio Rancho public school system recently met with federal drug enforcement agents about drug use, including synthetic marijuana. Dean, back to you. Kayla, thank you. Police say both teens are back with their guardians tonight.